What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here again today. We'll be talking about Jeepers Creepers 4, Hellraiser, Halloween Ends, and Scream 6. Now, just to kick it off with Jeepers Creepers 4, Jeepers Creepers 4, Jeepers Creepers Reborn, it's coming back to theaters tomorrow. And this is according to what Scream Media put out in their post on Twitter, on Facebook, on the official Jeepers Creepers Reborn account. They stated that this is happening due to demand. Now, who who is checking for this again? Who who? Who is clamoring to see this again? And again, I know somebody out there is, but as a vast majority, who? <laughs> the movie just happened to come out and it just happened to make over two million dollars worldwide when you did little to no marketing. Because um, what's so confusing is the way that they want this trilogy to start off with Jeepers Creepers Reborn. They want it to be a trilogy starter. And this release is just an ap absolute mess. F for instance, the director doesn't even know if this new release tomorrow is wide or limited. And what I mean by that is one of you, uh, shout out to you again, as you sh sent me this image of Timo having this conversation, sharing that re-release news. He's and then when asked, is this the is the theatrical re-release wide or limited like before? He said, I wish I knew. I just got this note from the distributor that that it's now out in theaters but they didn't tell me how wide and big this he's clueless guys he's clueless um clearly clueless we know that the course case is still ongoing the film again has made over two million dollars so far in total and the soonest i'd expect the new jeepers creepers movie aka jeepers creepers 5 would be 2025 or 24. if myriad's allegations are true then nothing should stop them from finding another company to co-produce a fifth film with get it into the hands of another distributor besides screen media and get back on track while still settling that court case and i'll have some videos coming back coming out soon to pick this movie apart on the things that don't make sense but the earliest i would expect a jeepers creepers 5 at this point would be 2024 to go and to go along with uh, the 20th anniversary or 23rd anniversary or the actual 23 year later mark for the original jeepers creepers and that original cycle ending how we know that was the year jeepers creepers 2 was set in when it went off in 2003 so just to jump into Hellraiser, Jamie Clayton in a new interview explained this new take on Hellraiser, Pinhead, uh, and we got some first reactions as well about the movie recently. So Jamie Clayton said this about her iteration or her version of the Hell Priestess, I would say. This film's version of the priest is now a woman, which takes the burden off of the audience of trying to compare the performance to Doug Bradley's iconic portrayal of this character, lovingly known by the fans as Pinhead. There's a sensuality to her. There's a grace. There's a beauty and a hunger and a desire. So I like the way she's describing the character. Uh, and again, I can't wait to see Hellraiser when it debuts on Hulu. I'm hoping I get to see it early next week. But the film, again, had a secret screening last night at Fantastic Fest. And it has gotten good reactions for the most part. Praising Bruckner's direction, Clayton's performance, and the film being a worthy addition to the fran franchise. If you type in hashtag Hellraiser on Twitter, several reactions should pop up. Um, they're calling it like a breath of fresh air, saying the series is back on track. So, you know, the standard things you usually get after you've had a series of abysmal straight to video movies that I think Hellraiser did have. I think most of those sequels that I've seen were straight to video. I was very young when I saw them. I, I will also admit I haven't seen all of them. I think I haven't seen the most recent two. But it's nice to hear that this, this franchise is apparently back on track with the upcoming Hellraiser film from David Bruckner, who I had I had a lot of faith in considering most of his work that I've seen so far has been a hit. I haven't seen many misses from David Bruckner. So jumping into Halloween ends, Halloween ends had a new featurette that came out, the final battle featurette with Jamie Lee Curtis recounting the different twists between Laurie Strode in the 2018 movie and Halloween ends. She points out that the, in the 2018 movie, was more about Lori, who was prepared for over 40 years while this one is more of her trying to move on and then michael catches her off guard which is of course very apparent considering that she's working on a memoir and she was clearly i would say going off of the theatrical ending for kills and the extended cut ending she was ready to go after michael so she managed to i guess let that go move on with her life probably realize that a lot of what she did in her youth with karen and her youth too is probably what contributed to her putting her in this situation that got her killed so she was trying to forgive herself from that but then of course michael returns catching her off guard the most interesting thing in the featurette are not jamie's words to me <laughs> but the shots of the film throughout she calls halloween ends crazy intense and i'm sure that shocks no one of course it will be intense for all of us Lori strode fans anyway 
who are realizing that we won't get to see her ever again, at least not portrayed by her originator of Jamie Lee Curtis. Halloween is, I think, it's supposed to have its premiere at Beyond Fest uh, next week or sometime. So early reactions should be here soon from that screening. I do believe it's time to also accept that Corey Cunningham is going to be your copycat killer. Everything is just pointing to that. The only thing that comes down to now is let's just see how it's executed. I will say this. I am confident that something about this will just be stronger than what we got from Friday the 13th Part 5. That's just me. But jumping into Scream 6. Scream 6 had had some potential new character names revealed from our user clips comprehend uh again if you believe them or you don't that's up to you kevin williamson also talked about ghostface's longevity when speaking to collider williamson stated that, that there was a point i guess where he didn't think this series could go on and on uh but now he does think it that it can he's been he said he's been proven wrong repeatedly since the last one was such a pleasure i also think one of the wonderful things about scream is that there's a different killer in every film you know there's jason Bourne, he's michael or freddy they don't go away and ghost face changes with each movie so we have an opportunity to change the motive change the story and we can always twist and turn it since the original screen was always meant to be a game changer which it was yes the series can indeed go on but it shouldn't just because it can that's my thoughts on that and i know many of you will probably agree with that sentiment as well many of you still think that the franchise should have ended with three uh clips revealed two character names of carly who's very similar to tatum as far as her attitude and fear fearlessness goes she enjoys partying and pushes tara to let loose a bit i'm gonna assume that carly is liana liberato's character uh, and then he also revealed a character of detective perillo an old school new york style cop leans into that new york accent and he said this is not dermart moroni's character because we know dermart moroni is also playing a cop he says his daughter gets caught up in this upcoming ghost race spree and that's what gets him involved again i believe carly is liana liberato so we'll see what happens with scream six because i think marketing will amp up in october we'll get our first teaser maybe along with scream 2 re-release and you know we'll have opportunities to go crazy over whatever else comes maybe some new character posters or new featurettes from the cast let me know what you guys think of all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.